Hi everybody. Um, let me take a second and get a couple of things set up. Gotta remember to turn all my volumes completely off. And refresh my page. There we go. All right, so I am going to, let's see, I think we could go a little higher. This will never be perfect because I have to readjust it for everything I do. So, um, is that, no. Do I have my camera on the wrong side? Like. Rotate your device. You can't turn. Why is it telling me that? Oh, look. So the way the sun is coming in in the morning, it's just sunny and bright, which is, oh, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to move my mouse. Um, which is pretty nice for, like, the actual sewing, but it also messes up, like, <laughs> lighting in general. There we go. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Hey, Rebecca. I'm so glad you can join me this morning. So, I don't have squirrels. I haven't made any squirrels for a while. And I thought, fall, it's a good time to get some squirrels back in our inventory for Beth and I. And I think, just to not get Beth. Um, and I think I'm going to send one off to be modeled because I have not had it professionally modeled. So we're going to do that. Um, Beth, if you want to share on, um, the joyful market and, or the flourish market, that would be, that'd be fine. Although I'm not really selling anything. It's not like I'm doing my live sales. Yeah. You could just share it on your page too. And that always works. Okay. So I got all my pieces cut out a little bit ago while I was talking to my aunt. Um, so I should have everything I need. It's just a matter of putting it together. And my machine is still doing that thing where it sews like three stitches and then it's tells me it doesn't have any thread. So this is just a matter of it it quits after a while. Oh look, it already quit. Okay. So it does that every time I change thread. I also noticed on the um, video I did the other day of bats for Instagram, I don't think I shared it on here, um, that my fan in the background was really noisy. This is my window fan. It's pretty warm that day. It's really cooled off. What the heck? Rebecca, are you talking about a machine sewing three stitches and then it beeps at me? It's quit that already. Mm -hmm. So. And it didn't do it till after I got back from. That I got it back. Well, who was that guy? The guy that fixed it. Whoever he was. So I thought that was a little frustrating. Okay. I don't have to sew across the neck because I cover it with. Uh, I do believe the technical term is a muzzle, the, the, you know, the front part of a squirrel where, where their nose and their mouth is.
Yeah, the sewing shit. Okay. It is sewing better. I'm not having some of the problems I had before, but I have a new problem, which is dumb. So I am definitely asking for a new sewing machine for Christmas, even though this one is only a couple years old. And the great thing about who I get to ask is he doesn't care how much money I spend on a sewing machine, so I'm definitely going to up it a little bit this year. I think I only spent like 300 on this one because it had really good reviews. Although I do have to make sure with Andy that it's okay that I'm asking for a new one. But don't you think a new studio space deserves a new sewing machine? <laughs> Get a genome. You know, I thought if I got one of those, the quilting, um, the quilt shop sells them uptown. And I think, it's kind of actually where I was leaning. Um, then it would be super easy to, they probably come with some sort of warranty. You know, I'm just like Amazon. Let's buy it on Amazon. Amazon is usually, I mean, it's just so easy to pop on there and look at the reviews and yeah, new everything. It's going to be awesome. We did kind of scale it back, um, just because we know we can build on and make it bigger if we need to, but we're just going to go in the main bay of the garage that's mostly empty. Um, so just think about a one car garage and how big that is. That's about how big it's going to be. But I think with, um, with just me working in there, It'll be fine, but as you know, the dream is to have several people employed, then it'll have to be bigger. We will have to grow. I sound like I really know what I'm talking about. We will grow. I will hire people. Stephanie, I watched most of your uh, bath bomb video this morning while I was eating my breakfast, which is sort of a weird combination. It was fun. I love how you combine your bath bombs and your um, scrubbies. That was really cool. I have talent. Woohoo! America's got talent. So apparently do people in Iowa. <laughs> okay, in other places. So we get to chat about whatever you guys want to... <sighs> they are so long, I wish I could shorten them. Oh, the, I know, like, it'll, I'm sewing four squirrels this morning, and it'll take me well over an hour to do everything, but I'm not concentrating on it as much as if I was alone and sewing either, then I just, like, really just go. This is, I have to chat about what I'm doing, it takes a little bit longer. Look, we've got Sue joining us, and Mary joined us. Hi, ladies. I'm sewing some squirrels. And that was the second squirrel. I'm doing four of them this morning. And it's really just so Beth and I have some in our inventory for this fall. How long have I been sewing? I have been sewing since I was a wee lass. Um, like, I don't know, Beth, how old were we when Grandma started teaching us to sew? Like, I remember standing next to my grandma 
um, while she was sewing and just watching her. Um, and so I think I remember really getting going when I was like maybe eight or nine and it was basic block quilts to start like a, a nine patch, I think. 1981. Thank you, Bethany. Um, and then I did some doll clothes and then I just sort of, I don't know. I feel like I've always sewn. <laughs> the summer in Burlington is that, but that wouldn't be till like 83 or 84 Beth. I just always remember grandma Sarah sewing and then just watching her. Yes, it was, um, hey, Krista. Yeah, our grandma was really into quilting, and they were just very basic, but she, she had them on all the beds in her home. She made sure all the grandkids had them, I think. A few of the great grandkids had quilts. My aunt quilted. Um, you know, they were just, they were pretty basic. And then grandma, grandma sewed our clothes, like um, dresses for church. She did a lot of those for us because it was fun to go pick out the fabric and the pattern and. Oh, Krista, I'm sewing four exact same squirrels, so <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I, and I vividly remember um, those dresses that Grandma did. Oh, I'm out of bobbin thread. That's good. See, I'm not really paying attention. I'm just sewing along. It was back in the early 80s, so one of the dress styles that was popular was a drop waist. I had a ton of those drop waist dresses and they kind of reminded me of, um, oh, what is that cheerful girl? And she falls out of the tree. Ah, uh, um, Pollyanna. You guys remember the movie Pollyanna? The dresses that Pollyanna wore. Those were at least, I recall them being somewhat popular back in the early eighties. And I had a bunch of those. Big old bow on the side. Pollyanna. Everyone should be a Pollyanna. Find the best in every situation. One of my dresses was, thanks Beth. One of my dresses was like this denim blue and then it had blue and black and white paint splatters all over it. Oh, it's pretty cool. You like my description of Pollyanna? Is that little girl? <laughs> She's cheerful and she fell out of a tree. Bethany, what did you drop? I'm going to have to go back and trim that. I'll do it later. It is hard to see brown on brown fabric. So I don't think I sewed as close to the edge as I like to. But okay. First thing to get going. The the tummies are next and those are definitely brighter so and the sun believe it or not even though the sun is shining it's just sort of it's so bright it just blends everything together yes that's right oh the video dropped oh i'm sorry the glad game oh my gosh i almost have to go watch pollyanna this afternoon just to, i love that movie it's one of my all-time favorites as a matter of fact i had it when my kids were little and we watched it so much it was scratched by the time i threw it away um 
That's right. So we still have a few of Grandma's quilts, but they're getting pretty threadbare. But we would, we would um, find the squares that we n knew that she had made something either for us or, you know, it had been an apron she had made or something. That was a lot of fun. To say, oh look, it's my dress, or oh look, it's I don't know, whatever, something. An ice cream and steak for supper if you are a rich person. That's what you would have every night. Mm -hmm. In Pollyanna's world, anyway. Uh, maybe we did, Beth. That would have been funny because we would have been. I really remember the dress. I think I probably wore it a ton. Um, I would have been like 10. So that would have been 84. that we both remember that exact same dress. What other ones did we have? I had one that was red, too, because I remember wanting to wear red tights with it, and Mom said that you cannot wear tights the same color as your dress. You had to mix it up a little bit. I think I chose white or something. You were baptized in it? No. Oh, at Lassen, maybe? Really? Wow. All right, Bethany. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thanks for joining us for a few minutes, too. Always do. Um, hmm, now this is really going to make me ponder what other dresses I had. I'm thinking about the dresses and not oh I'm sure you had a pink one I think you had pink in everything or everything in pink or something see I'm pretty sure I had a red one in there. well that was a fun trip down memory lane thanks Bethany and thanks Stephanie for asking okay so, the base of the squirrel, the body of the squirrel is done, and I am going to, I'm going to switch thread, which is going to get annoying, but I'll do it, because the belly, you know what, it's cream colored, really, I should go with cream colored thread, not lighter brown. Sorry for my arm in the way, too. There's just no help for it. Okay. My 
handy little pile over here. And we are gonna sew that cute little belly on. Blue rose buds. No, but I do remember doll clothes that had that, it was white fabric and it had those tiny little roses all over it. That was a doll dress. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm sort of doubting myself. I haven't made a squirrel for a while. Oh yeah. Oh no. Maybe I didn't cut those big enough. Because they're not... I may have to go back and cut those. I pulled up a picture earlier just when I was cutting it out. Just to kind of, and no, I don't have pattern pieces for some of those. The little details like the noses. How's the farmlet? Oh my goodness. So I was on the phone with a lady from the insurance company yesterday. yesterday I don't know last week and um a goat got in the house <laughs> so we're really having trouble keeping the goats pinned up one has definitely learned how to jump over the fence and we don't know why um she gets on we have these like um hog sh um sheds i think is what they're called and um, she gets up on top of that and it must be close enough to the edge of the fence that that's how she's getting out. Um, and then it's sort of complicated, but there's a, a dog house. Um, when we had, um, when Luna was a puppy, she had a dog house and, um, that is in a tiny little fenced area right next to the goat, um, area. And so that fence isn't very high because she's just a puppy so the, then the goat jumps to get back in, the goat jumps on top of the roof of that house. And then it's like a, almost like a ladder for the goat. And then it jumps over the higher fence to get back into the pen. I have seen them do that. I haven't seen them jump out. <laughs> okay. But this goat would not get out of the house. Joshua was grabbing it by its collar and it just refused to move. And I bet it took them five minutes to get this goat out. And I'm yelling, don't poop in the house. <laughs> Thankfully, when goats poop, it's this tiny little pellet. And it's not hard to clean up. But still, I do not want a goat pooping in the house. Finally, Anna gets up behind the goat and they push it out the back door. But, oh my gosh, I think somebody had left the sliding glass door open and the goat thought it should perhaps join me. The other day there was, um, oh, never mind a chicken, a really bad um, rainstorm. And I needed to go out to the freezer to get some bacon for supper. And I, we have a breezeway between our garage and our house. And both of the goats were sitting in the breezeway riding out the storm. Like, seriously? I kind of watch for them because they wander through the backyard and and everything and they were just sitting there like it was no big deal like just waiting for me to come out uh, they kind of, kind of frustrate me a little bit it's definitely a makeshift pen we just kind of used what we had and it's really not the best, best plan if you'd like to keep your goats. And I've had f people tell me on Facebook, did you know your goats are out? <sighs> yes, we know the goats are out and we're not sure what to do about it. I can't chain them up like we chain up the dogs. That doesn't seem right. And that is how the farmlet is doing. The 
ducks were very happy with the rain because their ponds filled back up. Like if I could have a window that just like overlooked the the area where the animals are, I would just I would get very distracted just watching the ducks swim around and the chickens pecking at birds and clucking when they lay an egg. Speaking of clucking when they lay an egg, it is time to upgrade the pen. We're hoping that maybe with the loan we get for the windows, there'll be a little extra, and maybe we can do do a little upgrading of the pen. Um, so I went to make an apple cake this morning because I had all the ingredients, so I thought. And I went to get in the refrigerator, and there were two eggs out there. They're in the fridge. Ugh. And the kids are the ones that are supposed to go collect the eggs. But did they collect eggs? No. They have not collected eggs for a couple of days. Which means there's more than enough eggs out there somewhere in the yard. So eventually I will get... Everything is mixed up. Well, I guess I didn't mix up like the butter and sugar part. But... Everything else is mixed up, ready to go. Apples are sitting there. And I cannot bake a cake because I am short several eggs. That's the plan, Beth. And since we did kind of scale back on the studio part of things, that maybe it'll happen. Actually, what I'd like to do is just make their pen bigger and have a more secure door on it. And I think they would be happier. But they also, it's definitely a case of the grass is greener on the other side. Because, you know, it's pretty worn down in their, in their pen. And, you know, there's these beautiful bushes in the neighbor's yard, and there's yummy grass to go nibble on. Or, you know, paper blowing across the yard that they need to go investigate. Ah, oh, I think the cake was going to be quite tasty, but now I will not know for a while. I did make brownies yesterday, and those were kind of yummy too. Oops, sorry. All right, Rebecca, you're not being super chatty today. Talk more. All right, last tummy on the scrolls. Krista, that's right, you're watching. Oh, huh, it doesn't tell me you're watching, though. I still haven't gotten my clippers back. I'm hoping Sunday. I'm going to go to Des Moines on Sunday, so maybe, fingers crossed. Sam's Club, here we come. Joanne's, here we come. Can't do Hobby Lobby. Does Joanne's have any good sales going on? Oh yeah, you have to keep updated on that, Rebecca. The video dropped again. I wonder if it's, well, my internet says it's really strong. I 
hope I find that. I'm sure I'll find something. I just, I like the, the grip on those. Okay, what am I doing? I am doing that nose, but I don't like the fabric, so I'll be right back. So, I don't have to go far. I didn't put my fabric away. Knocking things over with my rear end. Okay, I'm back. See, I didn't go far. Kelly, you're watching too. Yay! I suppose, Beth, no, it tells me you're watching, Beth. I don't know. All right. Oh, why is my phone ringing? Well, we're going to decline that. So the kids insurance company keeps calling me and I have to do this like health history for them. And you end up saying no to every single question because it's all like, does your child have cancer? Does your child ever been told that they are... I don't know, just on and on and on. And I'm like, no. <sighs> yes, I know people, people, I know that there are childhood illnesses mm -hmm. and it's, oh, look, they left me a voicemail trying to reconnect. Connection is available. Come on. Okay. I'm back. I don't know. That's really weird. Like, the phone call made it drop or something. I don't know. I'm really confused. Okay. Is this, if I go houses, is that going to be... Yes. I think that will... That will work. And then we'll just do a couple at a time. I think the problem is I was trying to cut four and I ended up... Making them smaller than they were supposed to be. It's definitely an exaggerated part of the squirrel because I realize they're not that in real life. <laughs> eh, it's too big. <laughs> Bear with me, I will get this. I don't think it's like too big isn't too long. I think it's just too tall. Does that make sense? Too high? Just trim off a little bit. No, um, but Beth, for me, it did just disconnect. I don't know. And here I am sort of blabbing away. Is she lost in the mountains? Wow. I hope she's really, I know this sounds horrible, but I hope that she's lost and she wasn't abducted. Because that just happened here and everybody, actually I think for a while, the entire United States, States was up in arms. <sighs> Let's not go there. It's awful. I do hope they find her, though. That's that's really, really tragic. Okay. There. Now they're all cut out again. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other ones. I'll find something. Or it'll become another thing. Okay. Changing the thread. Must be somebody in our backyard or walking past. This Luna is going a little bit crazy. They have checked it already. Oh, it's just so sad. Um, Rebecca, it must be pretty mountainy where you're at then. Like, are you in the, it's not the Smokies, that's further south, isn't it? The 
Adir Adirondacks? What are you by? All right, Luna Bear. I'd be worried it was like a neighbor dog that she's barking at, but then the chickens and stuff would be going crazy, so. Until I switch colors of thread, it's doing its thing again. Stop, Meg. Oh, back up, back up. A very important part. for it to put the teeth of the squirrel in so he can chew on his nuts. <sighs> so I'm just going to get the old seam ripper out. Ah, I probably have to trim the teeth a little bit too. I the first time, well, I think more than the first time I made these, my mom was like, I think that looks more like a beaver than a squirrel. So I tend to cut them too big, and, but when you're sewing these one at a time, you can make little adjustments like that. So, there we go. And then I'll go back over later and do the teeth when I do the eyes. And then I'll also get a nose and little paws put on them. You guys see how it's coming together? to the next one. This one's a little bit too wide also. It's gonna quick take a little bit off the top. Yeah, I definitely couldn't, did not cut the teeth narrow enough. But it is such an easy fix, that is not a problem. Alright, 
I'm all depressed now. So let's talk about something happy. <laughs> what is happy? What's happy in the world? Um... I can't even think of anything happy. <laughs> okay, come on, there's gotta be happy things going on. The baby shark song. Yes, that would be adorable. And that's sorry, okay, grandbabies. And baby things in general are always happy. And I gotta put some more teeth in. Oh, and our brother's wife is um, expecting a baby too, but not till. What'd she do, Beth? The third? No, not the third. The thirteenth of the March. The thirteenth. Which we're excited about a new baby. are wonderful. Although probably about five. March three. Okay. Um, I get my baby fix in about five minutes though these days. <laughs> oh, answers to, okay. So what, wait, unless you don't want to share on here, but I'm glad that there are answers. Answers mean that you can like pursue a course of treatment is wonderful and stop that. Anna was a spit spitter upper too. But back then the babysitter had to deal with it. I didn't really have to deal with it that much. It sounds horrible, my poor baby. And you're holding a soaring baby. Well fine, y'all three have baby things. That's fine. I'm good. I am good without the babies. I have my sewing machine. And that is my baby. Okay, the teeth just turned out weird this time. Probably once I get them sewn, it just won't look weird. Right now, I feel like my teeth are weird. Milk allergies. All right. That's not a hard one these days. So does that mean to run soy formula? Or is it cow milk specifically? Could she do goat milk? Make a baby squirrel. <laughs> Um, probably not going to make a baby squirrel though. Really should be sewing sharks for you guys. That's what I should be working on. Somehow I think my Amazon dreams are not going to come to fruition this fall. I do have a coaching session coming up with um, with, um, I think her name is Tara in, in our Flourish group, and she is going to help me with, um, 
sharks. What sharks do you need, Bethany? She's going to help me with um, my Amazon shop. Oops, I was going to do the notes first. Um, so, I kind of want to talk to her before I add any more items to my Amazon. Um, or, you know, actually list different products besides the sharks. Oh, hello, chicky. Somebody. <laughs> Stuff sharks. I worked on those yesterday. I made two yesterday. Um, did you guys hear that, that chicken clucking? She just laid an egg. They very proudly tell you when they have laid their eggs. All right, first nose. You know, it doesn't take much, some of these little details, and then they definitely start um, looking more like the animals are supposed to look like. Yeah, so um, you need eggs. So do I, so I can finish my apple cake. Probably would be really smart if I would go out there and just collect eggs today. Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, so I, because I shared my my Flourish link and people signed up. I actually had two people sign up this week from that. Um, I got a free uh, coaching session with an expert of my choice. Beth, I wish in, um, okay, you're going to go back to the egg thing here that um, the chickens would be laying by the time you came back in September, but they won't be. But it would be fun if they would. Right now we are getting a green egg. I should go get an egg and show you guys. They're really pretty. I'm gonna go get an egg. So it's definitely what I need to do in the middle of the live is leave and get an egg. Bringing the eggs. We have two eggs. All right, these are the eggs that I have at the moment. See that green color? Can you guys see that? Oh, you can't really tell they're green, can you? Would it help if I put them in front of the brown? Mm, those are green, or maybe white. I don't know. You can't really tell they're green, can you? Okay, there, it's a really pale green. Anyway, it's kind of fun. The, um, all right, apparently, you guys, maybe it's just my screen. <laughs> but I can't tell that they're green. Um, the, the barn builders, um, that I got this spring, they will lay a dark brown speckledy egg. It's a really pretty egg, too. And the yolks are darker. Oh, and the ducks. The ducks will lay eggs. But they, um, can't remember if it takes them a little bit longer to start laying than it takes chickens. But we'll still get a lot of, I don't know what we're down to with, like, how many males and females we have out there. We have, I don't talk about the, um, the ducks very much. So we have pecans, which... Or just that typical white duck um, and then we also I bought a like a mixed um, mixed breed package whatever because I thought that would be fun um, and they turned out it turns out that those majority of those are males because I think they're they're cheaper if you get like you don't care what breed you're getting so I think they throw the males <laughs> in that group but we have two mallards and we have a rowan duck. Um, and then I bet there's 10 pecans out there. 
So, yeah, it's fun. You know, the reason why eggs are so expensive, Bethany, and um, I think they're kind of pricey around here, too. Um, it's because chicken feed is pricey. Um, and, you know, in the summertime, they do a lot of scratching on their own. But in the wintertime, they don't have that. So we have to feed them. And by the time you think about what you pay for a chicken from the hatchery, we would love to do some of our own hatching. But I'm not sure that anyone wants to put that much roast them up. Um, the males, ducks and the male chickens, except for a couple, um, will definitely be hitting the roasting pan eventually. Jacob came in, this has nothing to do with anything particular, like duck breeds, but, um, Jacob came in this morning after feeding the ducks and chickens and he said, mom, I think I figured out what the top rooster is. I'm like, okay. I guess he won't end up in my cooking pot. But yeah, it's... There's a reason fresh eggs are expensive. And I also have to say that the one time I ate a chicken that we... That Jacob um, butchered and put in the, the pot. They're, they're, um, kind of gamey, like, um, wild, you know, like deer. They definitely have that wild taste to them. It's, it's different. So the kids really enjoyed eating it, but I'm like, eh. Yeah, you gotta feed them, right? <laughs> gotta feed them. You gotta maintain their pens. And if you don't want them flying everywhere, I was roosting the tree next to the pen. We have to clip their wings. <laughs> Dang chickens. They crow at 5.30 in the morning. They crow all day long. Can you guys hear the chickens? I don't know if you can or what. <laughs> Somebody tell me you can hear that rooster. Oh, good. Oh, good. I so glad you could hear him. It's being pretty noisy over there. All right. Where is that little nose? We are just whipping these things out. Okay. I'm going to do eyes and then I'll come back and do their little hands and feet. But you can all hear my rooster. I couldn't tell. Like, I can hear him, but if the microphone on on my camera was picking it up. Oops, I don't know that. <laughs> it's really just being quite vocal. Okay. He is noisy. Of course, it could be more than one of them. Several roosters. And we will keep the biggest and the nicest. And if there are mean roosters, they will not be kept. Have you guys seen those videos where a kid or a person is being chased by a rooster? I think they're hilarious. But roosters can be really mean. Eyes. My squirrels definitely are on the goofy side. All right. 
night. What are you guys having for lunch today? How many roosters do we have? Um, I don't know. Four or five? I did, I bought a, um, about two sets of the barn velders. I bought one that was just females. Um, and one that was mixed. Then if you buy them just females, they're like a couple dollars each more expensive. So we had bacon, chicken, chicken bacon ranch last night. It was really yummy. I want to put spinach on it. Um, I don't have any leftovers. I only made four and then four people home. Um... Yeah, because I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of females. So, and I think if I buy more chicks this spring, I will buy just females, but I won't need to buy as many of them. We are definitely hoping they propagate on their own a little bit too. And I would like to just have the one breed. a salad for lunch. It's not real exciting, but okay, and I you're not going to see the eyeballs on because I will do that when I'm hand sewing later this afternoon. I got to put the little, oh, got to do the, the teeth too, Meg. Come on, stay with the program. tenderloin. Bethany, I have a feeling we are having very similar suppers tonight. Um, Josh is going to join FFA and um, they are having a barbecue tonight. Hey, Cora. It is lovely to see you. Um, so, FFA is on our schedule. Joshua is very, very excited about it. Um, I think we are equally excited for him. It sounds like it's, um, they're a really active, um, chapter. I know next to nothing about FFA. So we went to an informational meeting the other night and that was really good. Uh, we stayed a little bit after and talked to the instructor because of course, you know, when they go, does anybody have any questions? I can never think of anything to ask. Yes, he will be, he'll be a good fit. I'm just gonna go ahead and pin the feet on. I'll, I'm gonna come back and sew those in a minute. But um, so he has to be there at five because he's gonna help set up and um and everything. So Cora, you got to chat with us a little bit. What's going on down there in Fairfield? Uh, no, it's at uh, Cordova.
it's going to make me get out of my comfort zone and I have to meet new people. But actually, um, oh, do I keep talking quietly? I'm sorry. I didn't say where it was at, so I don't think you missed it. Um, his, Joshua's speech therapist was Mrs. Fetty at Lincoln. Um, the, just for the rest of you, not just Buff, the elementary school, um, where Joshua, um, went. And, um, her son must be in his class because she was there at the meeting. Um, so we got to catch up a little bit and be chatty. Sleepy dust. We need no sleepy dust. Are they running around? Well, Caroline doesn't run, but is Levi running around like a banshee? Oh, sorry. Was that Riley or Penelope, Bethany? Just rubbing their eyes all. I did not sleep well last night, so I think I need a nap, too. I was up every two hours. Oh, so frustrating. Riley. Well, hey, at least she took a nap. A little squirt. Why did I grab pens? Because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing, probably. Okay, I survived the night, so isn't that what's most important, right? But the beauty is, I could go take a nap if I really wanted to. We'll take a joint nap. Yes, there you go. Well, I'll go take a nap this afternoon in different states. I think that's a fabulous idea. And just occurred to me, is he still home this week? Oh my goodness. So, um, Beth, for a while you were commenting as our page, but now you're commenting as yourself. Why? Wonder what changed. Is Robbie getting better? It is not good to miss this early in. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, 
it is not good to get sick this early in the school year. I hope he doesn't miss more. Well, and for your sake, too, I hope he goes back to school. Anyway, hi, Robbie. I just ran out of thread. Fiddle sticks. Mm -hmm. Putting the little hands on. Those are connected. No wonder they weren't coming apart. Snip. Aha, uh -huh. where's your show this weekend, Beth? I don't have a show until the 14th, 14th and 15th of September. That's my next show. And that one's only in Harvard, Illinois. How far away is it? Thank you, Smarty Pants. I didn't figure that one out. Um, how far away is Harvard? Okay, I'm an idiot. And nobody needs to comment on that. I know you're going to be home that weekend, Beth. But it's a show I really wanted to do. Uh, and it's in uh, Reynolds. So, that's like 20 minutes for me. Ugh. I knew my throat was out. And I'm guessing I have nothing ready to go. Pondering, pondering, pondering. We have light pink I could use. Hmm. Yeah. I was really hoping it would hold on. I don't want to use my peach because I don't have a ton of peach. It's yellow because I don't know. I think I'm gonna go beige. Don't fall off. Do you, do you guys know what I'm holding? I'll miss you. Oh, I'm glad you just the call peppers. So these are those toe divider things, and um, that's how I keep my bobbins from getting super messy and all over the place. It's mostly effective. <laughs> Not a hundred percent, but mostly. Oh, I'll, you know what, Beth, I'll be back and forth. And, you know, you could also come up. Um, it's just supposedly in an open field um, near the town. And I think it's more of a, it sounds like it's, it's more of a, a, you know, a junk market. Um antiques and crafts and stuff like that so and I think it's it goes from like nine to five and then nine to three so not not late at all
balloon fest. Um, do you have um, any way to incorporate lighting? Dad's plans. Ugh. Um, seriously, think about um, if there's any way, even if it's just... Um, Okay, backing up. So, a while ago, we bought... Oh, that, that battery charger thing that we had at Tulip Time. Um, think about... We got it at Sam's Club, but think about that for um, lighting your shows. Um, you know, you could string Christmas lights um, in and around the animals or hanging on the inside of your tent or something. Okay, now I just have to do the little hands, and then I have four squirrels mostly done. I'll put the eyeballs on and get them sewn up. Okay, that's cool, Beth. I just, you know, normally we have day shows, so you don't really have to think about um, lighting, but, and you'll have two llamas, because I sent two llamas in your, I hope two is enough for a two-day show, um, I sent a chicken, and I think I put the small chickens in there and a ton of tinies. Oh, it'll be really cool. Um, tinies in your box. I don't know what else I sent you. It's not a very big box, but I crammed it full. probably get it tomorrow too. That would. It's usually what happens when I sent you a picture, a picture, a box. Stop sewing, Meg. Um, when I send you a box on Wednesday, you should get it Friday, don't you? Bumped it again. Um, I hope so too, Beth. Okay. All right. 
right, so then one little paw, and then I am done. And I think then I, oh, okay. Um, so you've seen me sew one complete one, so I think I'm just gonna, I'll do the other ones later. So, um, so that is sewing a squirrel and chatting about mostly absolutely nothing else. Other than just chatting and being good friends. It's better than sitting and having a cup of coffee, right? And chatting, or well, maybe not. Depends how much you love your coffee. Okay, so there is a squirrel. Let me show you. I'm just going to pull out a couple eyes here and... One eye, two eyes. These are not different buttons, they're pretty much the same. So there is the completed squirrel. And hopefully by this afternoon I will have one completely ready to go stuffed and I will take a picture and I will post it. I know. Okay. I'm glad that you stuck with me to the end. All right. Love you all. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, kids pooped. Yep, it's good, Rebecca. We're, we're signing off. So, hey, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.